YouTube, what's cracking? I'm DJ Smooth. We're going to do a nice re-rock beat this afternoon, this wonderful spring day. It is uh, March the 26th. We're getting ready to move into April. And we're going to do this NLE Chapa Shada beat. Over, okay? It's a re-rock beat. We're just going to remake it. So we're going to go from this to... this okay i've already redone this beat this morning and it is four parts a piano an 808 a snare and a hi-hat and it's hot hot as as can be very good uh production from midas 800 so let's um go ahead and grab the beat the 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 song off of uh, wherever you find it and drag it and drop it into our playlist. From there, we'll give it a listen, figure out what key we're in, and we'll figure out what the tempo is. In this case, we're in the key of D, and it's a buck 20, 60 BPM. Anyhow, the first thing that we're going to do is pull up a piano. In this case, I wanted uh, to use the Heat Up 3 and just grab the first piano that came up. I uh, tweaked the release a little bit, make it shorter, and I also uh, brought the reverb way, way down just so it's more median and in your face. The entire beat is is uh, distorted and really aggressive. It's in your face, so um, that's what we're going for in, um, in this mix. So to start out, we listen to this piano part in our record. We'll start out like... Right here. And I'm a finish, niggas be hating, trying to blemish my image. Who want the smoke? Two to three count with the scope. And then they clip long as a rope. We wipe his nose. Tell he had This is our piano part. This is what um, we came up with. It's very similar to what we have in the record. Um, we have halftime on that intro because that's what they did. We'll just disable that for now. This is in the key of D. We started at D, and there's a little octave in there. Um, these two guys. So I just worked out the tones on the keyboard, and we went in here and scratched them out on the piano roll. And that's it. Other than the octave E's, on um, this um, 2.5 of the measure, it's a uh, standard stuff, okay? So F12 closes everything out. The next thing we did, find a 808 that works with this beat. It's uh, aggressive, it's very loud, and as you can see, <clears throat> there is no decay. Uh, except out here at the end. So this is a really strong bass drum that will cut through a mix, even with not that much distortion, just because it's just really powerful all the way through. So we listen to that, play it on D. Okay. Now, uh, in this example, this particular 808 has a rattle on the right side of it, which has kind of threw me off for a while. So if you hear it, it's not your speakers are busted or your headphones are messed up. It's it's in the 808. I'm using it because uh, it sounds really close to the original. Pulling up that original, we're uh, going to give you an example again. So the intro is pretty easy. Halftime piano in a solo. And then um, we have this breakdown at the beginning of the beat, the doom. Yeah. Countdown. Yeah. 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 I am a menace. Keep me a rage. I like tennis. 
I'm with the Okay. So boom. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, really simple. The bass notes are just like the chord itself, D. So we're using uh, D, G, E, and we're not using any other notes than that. We use the octave D on this. This 808 pattern, very simple. Let's go to it, show it to you right quick. It's just the bass notes. Yeah. And we'll just play it for you right quick. Doom. This particular note, I cut out more often than I left in, but because it was in there whenever I started doing the beat, I didn't realize that I was going to have to be using the slice tool to clean it out of the way most of the time. Either way, outside of that, this is spot on. Uh, I even went into new tone and took a sample, a short sample of the, the beat and made sure that these notes were right, which is a good idea. You can isolate an 808 sample in a piece of a song in Edison, do a scan on it and see what the actual note is if you get confused. Anyways, moving right along, we went and pulled up another snare from the juice pack. This is just a two and four snare, just simple as can be. The actual tone is more like the um, Saudi type snare. It's got some of that, some of that top end bite to it, but it's not exactly the the Saudi snare. Anyway, since that's two and four, and um, pretty simple to do, we'll move on to the hi-hat the hi-hat is a pitched kind of high very short in the beat and it took a while to arrange this after i started chopping and cutting and arranging the beat i had to adjust a couple of notes and after that it was just perfect like this beat sounds really close to the original and the thing that we're doing here is taking the song that they released and we're recreating that not the original beat i can go on youtube and get the original beat and we could just be you know doing it exactly like the producer intended but um in this beat right here we got everything laid out so far so that's one two three four parts piano 808 snare and hi-hat then comes the arrangement the arrangement now is where things get really tricky now, all I did was on the intro, we have a halftime piano part. I wish everything I touch would turn to In On the Baby piano. Chopper, man. Top if it hadn't been for this intro, I would have just been cutting the entire um, pattern as one. But we split it out to channels so we have a little bit more control. Now, we got... In here, let's highlight what we got going on. This is uh, where we start pulling out the knife tool and chopping things. So the intro is real simple. Two, three, three, four, four, uh, dial, uh, uh, break. Mm. Break. So look, this is not hard. It's not rocket science. And it's it's uh, it's a part in here where you have to actually get into the 808 and move things around to f actually fit, you know, the tones and, and that sort of thing. But that's not that hard. You just sit and, and you do it. You feel me? Now, we're going to move right along. And this is a breakdown. We didn't use anything crazy. And I hope YouTube doesn't come back and bust my balls over that sample that I stole off of their website. So, 
As you can see, we've sliced, we've diced, and we've analyzed this beat and how it was just four parts turned into something bigger, way bigger. Just amazing arrangement, really good, simple, powerful tones used in this beat. So that's why I like doing these re-rock beats because I learn how a hit was made by the producer and things that he's doing, decisions that, that he or she is making, I, I can see. You know, and, and it really helps me make my beat simpler and clearer and less busy and, and that sort of thing. So that's why I do those beats. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um, we're done with this video. As you can see, there's a considerable amount of editing with the, the knife tool. And we've even chopped off the end here, the thunderstorm sound that they used in the beginning and at the end. And I'll let you guys hear this. And there it goes. So with that, I'm going to um, go over the mix right quick. The mix is uh, being that it's just a few notes. Uh, you can't just let it go. You feel what I'm saying? You uh, you have to pay attention to the mix. And really briefly, my mix, uh, 808, I run it through some combination of these and other this is just a preset I have. So with my sausage fattener, we got this up at about 10 on the 808. My R bass here is obviously, it's really uploaded. And this particular mix, we're at zero. So this is um, uh, one of the pre-saves I have. And we need to make sure this is... Just really quick, man, when you're mixing, the loudest thing in the mix should be your kick drum. The second should be your your snare or the combination of stack snares. That should come through at exactly the same levels as your kick drum. The 808, if I have a kick drum to go along with the 808, comes way, 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 way down. I just compress it more and I come down to levels about right in there. Um, but here, we don't have an 808. There's no nothing to cut through the mix. So uh, it's just straight up 808. And it is, uh, it's just gonna be the same level as an 808 would. Now, this presents a challenge to the engineer recording a session fitting vocals into a mix like this so i'm only doing this just to make um make it just like the beat sounds technically i should probably in order for you guys to use this bring it down a little bit so you can record on it but i've already released it and uh i just didn't think about it whenever i was mixing it so we're just we're gonna mix it we're gonna drop it um, it's already on Audio Mac, SoundCloud, BeatStars. So uh, go grab it, free downloads. Um, use anything on my website, on my player, free of charge, nonprofit use only. If you want to make money on it, you know, distribute it, monetize it to Spotify, go right ahead. Just get a, a lease or an exclusive from us on DJ Smooth. Dot com like and subscribe if you're feeling what i'm doing and leave suggestions for me please like leave me some feedback some comments let me know what you guys want to see next now we're going to let this uh this beat play and uh we'll uh, we'll catch y'all soon mm -hmm.